Hey guys, Windows Tweak Episode 4 here. Uh, I should say Kid Guru here, but I mean, Windows Tweak Episode 4 is the video I have to do you guys today. Um, anyhow, um, so this is a series that I noticed that had a lot of views, comments, stuff like that, uh, that I used to do, and I'm going to bring it back. Um, like, I kind of strayed off from it. I actually did this a long, long time ago in the beginning of my videos. Talk about tweaks, tips, hacks, tricks, whatever for Windows. So, my Linux and Mac viewers, sorry guys. Um, when I, I have Linux installed when I get my Mac, I'll try and do a series for that as well. But, you know, never know if you have Windows laying around or, have, uh, you know, you can always try it out, these tweaks. But anyway, these today, uh, the subject's on speedy, uh, making it, you know, more speedy and more responsive and doing daily checkups to make your, uh, computer, you know, last longer and, or your Windows last longer and, you know, just all around work better. So, um, like I said, we're back, so let's move on to the topics. Disk utilities is what I'm going to first talk about. If you head over to your start menu, go to all programs, accessories, and then go to your Windows uh, stuff. Now mine's going to be a little bit, mine's under Windows defaults. So, and then you head over to system tools, um, and go to disk defragmenter. Basically this will defragment your hard drive, compress all the files, to save you space, and make the stuff more responsive. Now, there's also stuff like auto logistics defragmenter. You can check into third party uh, defragmenters that take, you know, that use uh, a different technique and they defragment much, much faster than the default Windows one. But, you know, it's up to you whatever one you want to use. There's even some you, you can buy, but, you know, it's up to you. Um, so that's one disk utility I would recommend maybe running once, uh, you know, once every month, if perhaps maybe once every two months. Now, disk cleanup is something I recommend running at least once a month. This is something, you know, uh, you should run daily at the end of every month, uh, you know, take into your time to run a disk cleanup, you know, uh, it's gonna take up some of your CPU, so maybe, like, you know, before you head out, before you go to bed. Uh, so, just head over here, run it, basically, you pick your drive you want, and I'll run it just real quick. And then you pick the drive you want. You can even do it to your external hard drives. Then it can clear up stuff like compressed folder, uh, compressed files, stuff like that. I'm not going to run it because it has to scan the drive. But it'll delete a lot of stuff. And you can even delete old system recovery points, which will free up gigs of space if you haven't deleted any like ever since you got your computer. So I really, really recommend checking this out. It's really, really helpful. Cleans up a lot of space on your hard drive, m much more free space. And, you know, just makes the disk a lot more responsive with, you know, f empty space there. Fonts. Uh, I recommend not having too many fonts. I know there's a lot of fonts pre-installed. You know, some of them you really don't need at all. And if you want to install, you know, your own custom fonts from the internet, that's great. But, you know, at least slim them down. Don't have that many. And I, uh, you can find your fonts by going to Control Panel. Fonts. Now, I have to do a couple of cleanups of my own, but uh, it's going to take a second here to open. But basically... You have a lot of fonts in your uh, Windows, uh, you know, by default. So I recommend deleting. You can double click them um, here. I'm gonna show you the True Type ones, where it says True Type, are they gonna be the ones that uh, take a while to load now, or not take a while to load, but uh, are the bigger ones, the bigger type fonts, and that's the one you can look to delete now. If you double click it, as you see here, it gives you a preview. Uh, and you know, if you really don't like it, go ahead and delete it. Now, what's gonna make faster is all programs that use fonts, and that's obviously everything. Basically, when you launch anything, it has to load up the fonts that are associated with that, you know, program, whatever. And if there's less fonts to load up, obviously it'll open one, it'll open faster, and two, uh, you know, it'll just be more responsive because it doesn't have to load those extra, you know, stuff. Now, granted, it loads pretty fast, but I mean, it would load even faster if you don't have a lot of fonts. And if you have custom fonts, you know, you, um, you can uh, add them in here. But uh, you know, you don't ha don't get too many. Uh, I believe it was recommended only to have around, I think, oh, uh, th some people even only run by 50 fonts, so, I mean, imagine that. And, you know, that's really possible, because there's not a lot of, you know, there's some random fonts here that you probably never use. So, really, really take your time to check through these. Maybe, you know, regularly see if you installed any fonts with themes or anything like that that you don't need. So, that's, uh, it for that, so let's move on. Device Manager. If you go over to, uh, you can do these a couple ways. If I would just recommend going to run and type in dev management. I think that's M N G M T. I'm not sure. I, wait, let's see here. Okay, here. I don't know the exact code, so we're just going to do this. Go to control panel again. It's easier, sorry. Go to administrative tools and go to computer management here. And, okay, so. 
open that and we also are gonna need um oh actually no that's all we need up here so uh go here to computer management and click system tools and there's device manager um okay so now you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff in here that you can edit these are all your devices connected internally and externally to your computer you know the usb ports stuff like that now if you're on a laptop pay attention especially whether you're on vista or xp if there's stuff usb ports uh drives you're not using stuff like that ports whatever uh disable them if you're not using them stuff like i don't know uh let's say you're not using uh Ethernet, you're using wireless. Turn off Ethernet. You're not using, you know, if you have dial-up connection on there. Turn it off. I turned off my floppy because this is a, obviously a desktop computer. I never use my floppy anymore. But stuff like this, what it does, especially on a laptop, it saves up battery because it doesn't have to send out power to those devices. Uh, make sure you disable it to not uninstall it. There's uninstall and there's disable. And you can even update the driver if you want if it doesn't have an update. And you can enable it back up. Um, you can do stuff like, you know, keyboard stuff like that, modems, monitors. And if you look through this and really um, be careful also, you don't disable a processor now. But, um, you know, if you go through devices, especially on a laptop, I know there's just tons and tons that you can disable. To one, really, really increase battery life and performance because, uh, you know, the you can focus more on, you know, s system, uh, other other peripherals and you know providing more power to the you know the machine itself so and it doesn't have like I said it doesn't have to waste power on stuff that you're not even using so uh, look into that and last tip of course uh, we're ready here computer management go through these you can get a lot of stuff from computer management if you go to disk defragmenter you can defragment from here if you go to disk management this is where all your partitions are held for your uh, computer now you can look here to see on free unallocated space if you're making uh you know getting linux or something like that like as you see here okay i'll show you an example of mine here's my uh c drive and then it's split up here's my windows drive with 127 gigs 541 which is my uh what do you call this uh it's for ubuntu it's actually called uh the swap drive it needs swap space to act as ram uh and this is ubuntu running running on a 21 gig partition and this is just backup 4.4 4 gigs for backup stuff for the HP. Now this is my, you know, uh, what do you call it? This is my external drive. Now see, all the disk and stuff are placed here. This, you know, you can run through this. You can resize partition stuff like that, and you get something called Gparted, which makes stuff much easier than Windows default uh, computer management. I'm pretty sure they have it on Windows. There's other, or on Ubuntu, I know they have Gparted at least, but. Uh, check out other stuff like that. You may want to look into other uh, partition managers. And there's a, you can look in your services and applications folder in here, stuff like that. And indexing services and all that stuff. Anyhow, guys, that's Windows Tweak Episode 4. Uh, to make a more speedy and responsive computer and keeping it in good, healthy standards. Anyway, anyways, guys, thanks for listening to this episode of Windows Tweaks Episode 4. Comment, rate, subscribe. And if you're looking for any Windows tweaks, tips, tricks, hacks you want to know about... Uh, go ahead and uh, you know ask it in the comments or email at adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, guys, and don't forget to check out the website at, of course, adrianstech.com.